Hello guys and welcome back to Silver Creek Falls. This time we're on chapter 2. So hopefully this is a lot longer than the previous chapter, because I had to pay for this chapter if I'm almost free. Um I mean I I don't I don't mind I had to pay for it. I mean I'm just hoping it has a lot more than what the first one had, because the first one was really short. So I'm hoping I didn't pay for this to get the same content. I hope I'm getting for a lot more out of it. I mean, I understand he's paying so we can actually make money out of this, but yeah, it's a great idea to make a game and make money, because, yeah, you just, let's face it. You made the game, it takes time and effort. You deserve a bit of money for it. But, the first one I found was a bit too short, really. It just felt like a tutorial, which is what I'm hoping it was, mainly just a tutorial, just to show what the game was like, to advertise this one. I hope this is now the full game, and I'm expecting to get everything in this. I might not, but we'll find out. Let's go for it. I love the music though, still funky as ever. Norfolk Police Station, Norfolk, Virginia. Man, sure feels different without Phil here. The chief called me to come to talk to him. I should go straight to him before doing anything. Yeah, I know the controls. Silver Creek Falls Chapter 2 features more puzzles and riddles than the previous chapter. Relevant clues and evidence will always be stored in your inventory. Make sure to always pay attention to details mentioned in the conversation and interrogations as they will help you in finding the leads in your investigation. Also, save frequently on the different save slots, that way you can load the game in different points in case you get stuck. Okay. There he is. Hey Chief, how you doing? You heard about Phil, right? Yeah, I got the call from High Commissioner this morning in England. Such a, it's such a shame Phil had to go back to England. Yeah, it sucks. Scotland Yard needed him back for something. I dropped him off at the airport last Friday. He wanted to visit DC before going home. I told him he'd have a better time visiting Boston, but his flight to London was connecting through DC anyway. Yeah, I know. You two are walking. You two are working well together. Don't worry, you have a new partner next week. I hope it's Phil. <laughs> I want Phil to come back. It was so easy to voice. <laughs> so you wanted to talk to me? Is it about my request from DC? You know, when you and Phil came back to me last week requesting an extension on the case in North Carolina, I thought you guys were out of your minds. But this old cop got it wrong. Apparently DC licensed, there has been an, there is an FBI agent here to see you. I just can't read and do his voice at the same time. It really messes up my dialogue. Are you serious? Even I thought they'd ignore our, que our request. Apparently you're James Bond in connections with DC or something. He goes for one weekend and the week after the FBI agents. After, week after comes an FBI agent. God damn, I still can't read in this voice. I don't know if Phil had something to do with this. Do with it, but I wouldn't be surprised. Anyway, enough chatting. Here, here's the, he's in the operations room upstairs. Don't keep our guests waiting. All right, I'm off. See ya. Bye. Okay, we're gonna go upstairs. Right here is upstairs. It goes creepy all of a sudden. I don't understand that. Why is it so creepy? Oh god, I got hiccups. That's not a good thing. Hi, my name is Sarah Fitzgerald. I take it you're the, F you're the FBI agent from DC. Yes, my name is Special Agent Valdez. It's a pleasure to see you again. Again, I'm terribly sorry, Special Agent Valdez, but I don't remember meeting you before. Oh really? I guess you had other things in your mind that day. I was the agent standing in front of Lee Davis's house in Silver Creek Falls. Oh yeah, now I remember. Firstly, I'd like to apologize for the behavior of my boss on that day. If it's in any comfort to you, Special Agent West was like that to everyone. Was? Special Agent West was assassinated two nights ago at Silver Creek Falls Hotel. He was staying at the same room you stayed at when you were there. What? Here's the file on his murder. Hmm. No forced entry, two gunshots to the chest, and one to the head. I'm so sorry for your loss, Agent. No one heard anything that night. I was in the room right next to him and I heard nothing. Did you check out the surveillance footage from the hotel security? Yes, a man dressed in a suit wearing a ski mask walked in at 4.32am, walked past the concert and went up to the stairs. 
He opened the door and seamlessly as if he had a key, then went in. He left two minutes later and walked out the door at 4.35 a.m. Can't search around for seeing him? Nope. She says she was in the toilet at the time, seeing as the assassin, the assassin waited for her to go. My voice changed, I didn't even realize till now. At least, at least he could have cursed he's not getting her involved. The still from the video footage are at the back of the file. I see. When we entered Agent West's room the next morning, his phone, laptop, and suitcase were all gone. How about the case files? The four case files that took place in Silver Creek Falls were all gone. His other case files were intact, though. The assassin knew what he was looking for. The guy was clearly a professional. He was a clean, fast enough fish, and whoever ordered the shooting had money. Assassins that good aren't cheap. I'm sorry, Agent Valdez, but as interesting as the case is, I don't know why you're telling me all this. The reason I am talking to you is that I want you back on the case. Huh? Agent Wynn shared a few ma small details with me, but I suspect that the vast majority of what he knew was in those case files. With both him and Deputy Hill dead and Sheriff Lee Davis missing, you and Inspector Mark are currently the last remaining cops who know anything about the case. I'm sorry to tell you that Inspector Mara went back to England. Yes. Your chief told me. Anyway, I saw your request in my office this morning, so I know you want back in on the case. No need to be smug about it. Cool, I'll drive you to the place so you can pack your bags. I normally keep a change of clothes and some basic necessities in my backpack. That should do, right? You're rolling with the FBI now, and ever since I took this job, I've seen an insane amount of the country. You never know where, where a lead will take you next. I'd pack a few days of clothes if I were you. Okay, then here's my address. Can you come pick? Can you come pa come there in an hour or so so I can pack? No problem. I want to grab a pizza before heading out anyway. Thanks. Save me a slice. Objective: Go home, pack bags before say, before Special Agent Valdez comes to pick you up. Okay, let's go. Yes, I have played this part already. Um, mine inconvenience with the editing, well, not editing, for recording software. Of course, now I remember. My car is in the shop. This rent is a nice change. Off we go. Sarah Fitzgerald's apartment, Norfolk, Virginia. I've been wearing this jacket for a whole week now. I think I'll switch to a new jacket. Phil bought me for Phil bought for me as a goodbye present. Oh, so oh, Phil. Oh, it's so adorable. Oh, I love the relationship they have between each other. Much better. Okay, so we got a new jacket from Phil. That's a nice start. Why does the creepy music come every time I enter a new building? Or a new area? What's through here? I already have my basic toiletries kit. No need for anything else from the bathroom. Okay, um, let's, we're gonna pack that something in your bedroom, I guess. Guessing this is your cupboard? My old uniform from when I was, uh... Oh god, a word I can't read. My shits? Fuck it, state trooper. Seems like it was yesterday when I was just worn in. I'm a detective now, no need for this anymore. Cool, let's grab some more clothes. We might be in the field for a few days. Duffel bag of clothes added to your inventory. Agent Valdez will be here soon, no time for nap. I think I'll bring my iPod in case. I have a hard time sleeping on the road. I put iPod out of the back. I've been doing that recently. This is the music as I sleep. I don't know why. It's a thing I've just started doing recently. First aid kit will be a first aid kit. Will be quite useful. First aid kit added to inventory. I mean, out of the blue, I just started doing this for the music while I sleep. I have no clue why I started doing it. Office supplies. No to bring that. Inbox, no new emails? Huh, no surprises there. Okay, I can't go around. Let's go all the way around, goddammit. Um, what else do we need? Let's check the front room. Food, maybe? A bit of food? Let's have a few snacks. So clean. Oh, God. 
Cool, stow, cool, stow this off. I hate to go back and find out I was lost everything in a fire. Good thing the fridge is nearly empty. I hate to have a lot of food spoil on my during my absence. Here, I'll bring a snack for the trip. Apple added to inventory. I like a good apple. Apples are nice. Well, I guess that's it. That's all we need, really. Got a bit of sn got some food, got clothes, stuff. Oh, he's here already. You got everything you need? I'm hitting the wrong keys. I think we should have me covered. We're gonna be on the road for a few days, so I don't know. I don't. Don't be shy about bringing stuff. God knows I travel with half of my clothes in my car. The life of an FBA FBI agent, hey? I don't know why I keep trying to say FBI. FBI. Crikey. This is. Uh, this is supposed to be an Australian accent. It doesn't even sound Australian, man. I'm failing this accent. I would be lying if I said I didn't enjoy it. So we're using my car or yours? We can use mine. My gasoline allowance is quite generous. Silver Creek, Silver Creek Falls isn't that far away. Just two and a half hours from Norfolk. We're not going to Silver Creek Falls. Oh? We're off to Philly. That's where our first lead is. What are we doing up at Philly? Remember the car crash off Route 17 in Silver Creek Falls? Yeah? We traced her receipts, we found a link we found linked them to the credit card of affiliate The Philadelphia businessman called Connor Friedman. What? Really? Yep, here's blue type merged for blood samples we found on the site kits on the site too. And we're also gonna use a mail lots and lots of big words to confuse you, you dyslexic fuck. God damn it. And I don't mean that as an insult, I generally do have dyslexia. Now check, now check this out. His wife reported him missing two days ago. Two days ago? He hasn't been gone for like a week. She told me it's pretty normal for him to disappear for a few weeks straight, but two weeks was no worth for him is pretty unusual. You spoke to her yourself? Yeah, one agent, once Agent West and I had ID'd the receipts and blood from the car, we put in word from Philadelphia Police Department to go look for him. They came to, they came by his house and asked him where she saw him last, and where he was to the surprise, she then tells him that she hasn't seen him for two weeks. She then asks him the whereabouts, well, she asks them where, what they know about his whereabouts, and they make her call me. I arranged for us to go see her this afternoon to ask some questions and check his out of his office. This afternoon? It's already 2 p.m. It's five hours it's a five hours drive from here to Philly. You're right there. I think it'll be okay to appear in the evening, but, but best we just reschedule and see her in the morning. Jeez, and here I thought you fancy FBI agents would run a tighter ship. That was Special Agent West. He was super serious and told me off for being late all the time. I ain't had like to take things easy. So yeah, let's drive over to Philly and check ourselves into a hotel, grab some Philly cheese steaks, and then get a good night's rest. Well, this is all a big holiday to you, isn't it? Haha, <laughs> very funny. I wasn't kidding. Don't underestimate the importance of sleep. You need a good night's rest to be your most efficient. On that subject, do you mind driving us over to Philly? I drove over from DC this morning and I'm super tired. No problem, you remind me of someone. Oh, who? My old partner, Phil. You met him in Silver Creek Falls, the English guy. You seem pretty cool, I'd take that as a compliment. Cool? Let's get going. Oh wait, cool, let's get going. Wait, that's my car, this is his car. I wonder how I want Phil to come back, I liked Phil! The Beaumont of Philadelphia. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I'm probably saying it wrong as well, guys, so cut me some slack. Where's the entrance for here? Wow, that was a really long drive. Yep, so here we are. Welcome to the Beaumont of Philadelphia. Beaumont Phil Beaumont Philadelphia? I know I'm saying that name wrong now, god damn it. You gotta be kidding me. It's in the middle of an industrial park. Are we anywhere near? Metro. Metropol 
Metropolitan? Metropolitan? I can't say the goddamn word, it's too hard, I don't know what it is, but I can't say it. Metropolitan? Metropolitan. I guess Metropolitan. Metropolitan. Is that- I, I fuck it, I can't say it. Philadelphia. Well, Philadelphia is about 10 miles away, but this is a good, good hotel, trust me. That's what you said about the Philly Chia Steak restaurant you brought me to. That place was awesome. I wish I had brought more to bring back to the hotel room. Please, don't. Let's just check in. Sure, you'll like it more when we go inside. I've got a bad feeling about you and already, Inspector. Or oh, you're an FBI agent. There's a bouquet on the floor. What's that about? Can I enter on that? No. Anything on the news? Any more deaths? Soccer, my favourite sport. Hey buddy, any chance we could change your channel? You know no one here cares about soccer, right? Um. <clears throat> Sorry ma'am, the hotel manager insists that we keep it on the channel. You have a selection of sports channels in your room. Wicked awesome, thanks. Wicked awesome, all special kinds of awesome. Hi, two single r- wait, this is the- this is the thing you- Hi, two single rooms, please. My foot is stuck and it hurts. R right away, sir. I'm still hungry, I think I'll go out and get another sandwich. You wanna join me? I'm fine. I- I already have problems keeping up while I ate- I ate earlier down. Miss? You'll be in room 803. As for you, Mr. Valdez, I've put you in room 903. Swipe key added to inventory. See ya, agent. I want Detective Phil to come back though. Can I give him a call? Can I? No. Oh. Any books? No. Have you got a counter? Is there something I could do? No. Just flowers there. What the hell's a bouquet doing there? Well, I'm in what room? Sorry, it doesn't work. Ah, the penthouse sign above the elevator explains a lot. Wait, hang on. This one? Okay. Which one's this? Is this my room? 801. The door is open, should I walk in? Why the fuck not? There's a letter inside. Oh god, dear Mr. Ortega. Thank you so much for your kind invitation to your grounds. I truly enjoy our tour, our tour of your territory and was honoured to have a first-hand view of your, of, our, of your new products. I still can't read. Once we've hit the market, I am sure you and your family will have a lot of money. On the on to business, I have reviewed the points you've made during our meeting, and I will say that my opinion has not changed from the day of our meeting. An allowance allow, uh, an alliance between our families is essential for our own for our survival. For too long has the clown been dominated, uh, dominating our turf. If he wants war, then war he shall have. Enclosed, this, enclosed with this note is a gift, a small token to celebrate our new alliance. Kind regards. Lu, Lu Zhao Wen. Weird, this note to be here. This new product sounds illegal. I'll wait for this note to be here. This new product sounds illegal. I may have something here. I should really read stuff first before I try and start before I start trying to say it. I guess they want to be the final that note for some reason. I don't want to put anything in here. I might forget it when I check out tomorrow. Any books? I need to unpack. Valdez told me to only be here for a night. I think Valdez is gonna die. Do you want to sleep today? Yes. I want Phil to come back. Day two. I know I keep saying that, but I got attached to Phil. He's a nice character to have. He seems to be like the voice of reason, and like Sarah used to be like more like the force. My foot? Why is it stuck? Where's my foot getting stuck in the first place? That's better, alright. Sorry about that. It's just like I gotta bring my to record with a certain um, program. I need to be close to the mic, and I keep bringing my chair right close to the desk. My foot was stuck between the wheel branch thing, the branch part of the chair, the wheel comes off as well between the desk leg, so. It's a solve it now. I'm fine. It's comfortable like so. Yay! Comfort. Hang on. Hang on. There we go. Sorry. The mic was annoying me, which is slightly out of line for my face. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Right, let's move on. 
It's a cat. Meow. Meow. M meow. You're pushing it, cat. Ah! Oh, fuck you, cat. Can I help you, miss? Maybe you'd like to know where to get some relaxing tea. I'm fine. I'm more of a coffee person. I understand. I hope you enjoyed your stay. So, sir, could you do something about this cat? Oh, this cat's gonna get it. Sarah, just kick it! Penthouse? Penthouse? Swap doesn't work. I guess that's not my room. I don't know where. I gotta find fucking detective, goddammit. What room is he in? None of. His door is open. Should I walk in? I know he's not in his room. Is there anything I missed? Do I have to spend more time in these rooms somewhere? Empty? No? Where do I go then? We weren't exactly specific. Room 802. He was in 903. He was, I was in 803. He was in 903. Um, but this is like 801, 802, 803. So where's the 9s? Can, can I get to the 9s? I can't go to the penthouse. I can't get past this damn cat. Me Let's go trick it. Meow. Meow! <laughs> Sarah passed the key cards to the concert. Wait, it's, oh, this is it. Trying to leave without me? No, I just didn't know where you were. We should swap phone numbers. Yeah, I'm surprised we've got to do it yesterday, thinking about it. Hmm, maybe I was too busy thinking about food more than anything else. So what's the plan for today? We're going to cut off Friedman's house to ask his wife some questions. Oh yeah. The supposed car crash victim. Let's go. I got past you, you damn cat. Take that. I'm not a fan of that cat. It blocked me. And I'm also going to leave this episode here, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, that like button. Also, subscribe. They both really helped me out a lot. Next time, I hope we get a lot more progress done. Hopefully, I don't get stuck with a cat again for like five minutes. That was embarrassing. I, I thought the cat was automatically going to block me no matter what. I didn't realize I could move straight after the thing came down. I thought the way for the cat to stop me. I don't know why I thought that. Maybe it's just these games normally make you do stuff like that. But anyway. Hope I'll see you guys in the next episode. And as always, cheers for watching.